I am Tracy Erickson. I am the developer relations program at Unity. I am the entire program. Um, uh, how many Unity developers are out in the audience this evening? Oh my god, that's fantastic. Um, you know, isn't it great how easy game development has been made because of our cross-platform tool? You are able to literally, let's see, there we go, author once and deploy anywhere. Windows PC, Mac, iOS, Android, browsers, consoles, and as of yesterday, with our 3.5 engine release, we have made Chrome native client development included in our basic offering, and we've shipped a public preview of the most powerful game development tool for 3D games for Flash. So we're pretty proud about what we're doing, but there's always the question of, is that enough? Are there more platforms that you want to distribute your games to? Are there devices on which you want your games to be on that Unity doesn't support? And Unity has an answer for that question. It's called Union. Union's an inventive new program that Unity has started to help you guys reach platforms that currently aren't supported with our tool set. It's just as though, just like Unity is helping to democratize the development of 3D gaming, so Union is helping to democratize the publishing and distribution channels that are available to you. This is a really powerful program, and I want to show you how it works. I want to explain it to you in simple terms how this works. If you're a Unity developer, you come to us and you tell us what you're making, and we evaluate it for, un for Union from a technical standpoint. When we work with games in Union, we bring it to an array of new and emerging platforms, including BlackBerry Playbook, various smart TVs, and um, non-iOS and Android operating systems. We do not, however, work with iOS. We don't publish to any of the consoles, nor do we publish to any of the current handheld systems. So we're taking that off the screen. More specifically, the platforms that we do work with right now, there are five. RIMS BlackBerry Playbook, uh, Nokia N9, which is a Mego-based uh, uh, mobile handset, Sony Ericsson's Xperia Play handset, which is Android-based, Roku, which is a set-top box that's designed for streaming video content like Hulu, and Netflix, which is now um, supporting games. And then we've also, our latest uh, partnership is with LG. Um, last month during CES, we showed games running, Unity games running on 2012 LG Smart TV hardware. We were pretty proud of what we were able to show. We had Madfinger Games' um, 2011 uh, iOS title, iOS and Android title, Shadow Gun, running at 30 frames per second at 1080p on LG hardware. So we're able to do a lot with the engine on these emerging platforms, which I think you know, given the, the, the early steps that developers and, and middleware platforms are taking on these emerging devices like smart TVs, we're able to do some powerful games, some, some, some get some really strong performance out of the engine. And that's great for you guys because that means that you can build sophisticated 3D games that we can help you distribute to these new platforms. We operate on a competitive revenue share basis. Union is actually at no immediate direct upfront cost to you as a Unity developer. If your game is accepted and passes that initial technical evaluation that we perform, we, are, we will finance the porting process and our own development team will actually do the work of porting the game to the platforms that we agree to move forward on. 80% of the revenue that's derived from sales flows back to you. Now, just to note, that is after the OEM, the hardware manufacturer, takes their share. That varies according to platforms. Most of the hardware OEMs operate um, very similar to Apple with a 70-30 revenue split. So the 80-20 revenue share that Union provides kicks in after that amount. That's still great, because if you have a game that you want to distribute to these other platforms, there's no risk to you. Union's putting forward the financing and doing the work to port the game over, so you can only make money as a Unity developer in Union. And that's what's so great about it. And I wouldn't just take my word for it. Ask the Unity developers that are currently enrolled in, the in, the, in Union. 
There are more than 40 developers, including Alchemy Labs, which you guys may you know, know from Snuggle Truck Game Resort, uh, Madfinger, as I mentioned, Phoenix Fire, whose iOS and Android game Roboto has been quite successful, and dozens more developers who have created fantastic 3D content that we're helping to bring on a range of new devices. And that's really what it's all about for me and everyone at Unity, is helping you guys make games and getting those games into the hands of people everywhere, regardless of what the platform is. These are the games that we have in Union. More will be added in the coming months. I hope to talk with you, uh, the Unity developers in the audience. And even if you're not Unity using Unity now, you know, maybe this entices you, you know, kind of puts the, the weight on the scale for you to come and join, join the, the, the Unitics, as we like to call it, over at Unity, um, because we want to help make you successful, because at the end of the day, uh, if you guys are a success, then Unity is a success. So you can send me an email at tracy at unity3d.com if you have any specific questions about Union or Unity in general, um, or if you'd like to submit a game for consideration for Union. I will use the remaining of my time to answer some questions, beginning with you, sir. Sure. So uh, when we make a decision to, to bring a Unity title into Union, we do a technical evaluation that will first assess whether or not you know, the game is going to make sense on a given platform. So if you're doing a shooter, you know, that might work really well on a touchscreen device. It might be a little harder to pull off on a smart TV where there's only a remote. So we may not necessarily be doing multiple versions of a particular game and hitting all five platforms. We may only be working with one. Our Q, our, our, we have a QA process that our own internal development team uses. Um, we, you know, I'm pretty keen on, being, on working closely with our developer partners. It's your game. I want to make sure you're happy with it. Um, you know, so we are in constant communication with our developers, making sure that they feel comfortable with the releases, um, because ultimately, you know, we're doing it for you guys. So, was there any iterative process that happened? Um, not really, because the games that we're using are complete. So, it, from 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 an initial development standpoint, it's already gone through the developers' QA process, or if it's been published, um, yeah. we're porting it, and we have our own QA process. So. If we, if we can spend a lot of time going back and forth making modifications between two different development teams on a ported version, but we prefer to just have that QA process with our own internal development team to streamline the process and, and actually get to a release date. The, the question is, when can we play Facebook games? And, in, and, and kind of extrapolating out from that, when can we play games on the web that don't require Unity's plugin? I would say, first of all, Unity's plugin is actually a very robust platform uh, on which to distribute your game to the web. We have 100 million people who have installed our plugin. So, you know, and I, uh, you know, the gentleman from Big Point who had talked earlier about some of their great games, you know, a lot of their games are running on our plugin as well. So there's a lot of performance you can get out of that. If you're not happy with just reaching 100 million people, we get that, and that's why yesterday we added support for Chrome native client, which will enable users uh, of, of Chrome, which is about 300 million installs, to be able to play games natively in their browser. Um, we have several games already, about half a dozen, that have been released on the Chrome Web Store that run in native client. But beyond that, we're actually um, adding, we're the, we're the only 3D uh, game development engine that has provided tools for Flash development. And we've gone much further than just talking about developing a tool for Flash. We've actually shipped a public preview. And you can get that uh, today in our 3.5 uh, version of our engine that has a full suite of 3D development features that will enable you to export Unity uh, games into Flash. We haven't announced a final release date uh, for that tool, but it will be coming, and you can make games and tinker around with the tools today. The question is, does Unity support window mobile platform? At this time, we don't uh, do not support Windows Phone. Uh, the reason is pretty straightforward. Microsoft has maintained Windows Phone as a closed development ecosystem. They haven't granted any uh, third-party developer access to native uh, access to the, the the operating system at the native level. They've pledged recently to make Windows 8, um, you know, to grant uh, companies like Unity uh, developers native access to their code. You know, we're looking into that. Um, you know, later this year, um, we're waiting for more details on Microsoft as to exactly how Windows 8 desktop and tablet will interact with the mobile device and how Unity could potentially be a partner in shaping that ecosystem. I'll go ahead and take your question, sir, in the black. 
So the question uh, to encapsulate what you're asking is, you know, are what should I do if I want to take advantage of social networking features on Facebook or OpenFaint or the, the forthcoming GREE global platform or Mobage? How do I, you know, basically when I'm developing a game and I want to take advantage uh, of all of these social networks on these various platforms, that's a lot of work, right? To do one, to integrate with one, to do, to do just Facebook is a lot of work. What's great is that our engineering team is currently working on a mass, uh, uh, one central social API that will essentially, you will be able to write one master list uh, of achievements, one set of you know, leaderboards that will then populate each of those social networks, literally clicking a box. Now, some of that has been integrated. Some of that, I should say, some of that ha functionality has been introduced in 3.5 as of yesterday. Um, we've started with ga uh, Apple Game Center. Um, and there are some API targets for Xbox 360 achievements. Um, the full rollout, the full suite of social API features won't be rolled out until uh, later this year. But we're, 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 we're working on it. Uh, two minutes. Anybody else have any other questions? Yes, over here. Ah, PlayStation Vita is the topic that was raised. Um, we haven't made any announcements about PlayStation Vita. I think as uh, everyone in this room, we are watching very uh, with great anticipation for the launch that will be happening next week uh, here in North America and also Europe. Um, and you know, right now we don't have anything to announce, but I would definitely keep uh, a watch on that space. Great, thank you so much.